How you doing? Well, we're gonna grab a hot pan and two pounds of ground beef. We're gonna get that in there. Now you can do this before or after you uh, brown it. But we're gonna do a little bit of pepper, right? We're gonna get that in there, a lot more pepper. And then we're gonna flip it and do a little bit of salt. And we're gonna go ahead and brown our meat and crumble it. Okay, so it's almost, but not all the way browned and crumbled. Now we're gonna grab some yellow onion. We're gonna get that in there, however much you want. And we're gonna go ahead and soften up that onion and we're gonna finish uh, browning the meat. All right, once you got it all browned, crumbled, onion soft, uh, we're gonna grab a little bit of water and get that in there. All right, and then we're gonna go with, you already know, man, some basic taco seasoning. We're gonna do that, get that in there. We're gonna go with two packs, about a couple pounds of ground beef, and we're just gonna go ahead and mix the taco seasoning in. That'll be all the flavor we're gonna need. This is all about speed, quickness, delish. Get yourself a sheet pan, and you know, use whatever you want here, but we use the uh, Tostitos Thin and Crispy chips, right? You can make as many as you want. I like them a little flatter because I just do. We're gonna get flat on the pan, the first layer, right? Because we're gonna build layers here. All right, you already know we're coming out with some cheese. I'm gonna use some Sargento off the block four cheese Mexican. That's what I'm gonna use right there. Love me some Sargento. It's, yeah, it's all just real cheese, so you know. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw on a thin layer here. Now you can see a thin layer, yes, because we're gonna build layers, right? And then. We're just gonna come on over here and we're gonna grab some of the ground beef mixture. Y'all wanna see? There you go. All right. I don't know, we're gonna grab about a pound of it or so. We're gonna throw it on, see, some more cheese, please, on top of the beef. It helps to make it sticky, huh, to the other. Sticky. <laughs> and then we're just gonna throw it on some more, another layer, and just repeat that step. So once we got it looking like something like that, we're just gonna go ahead and layer the rest of the ground beef, right? I know I just told you everything you need to do, but this way you see, you get that all mixed down. And we're gonna use the rest of the cheddar. This is one bag, I think, one pound of cheese, 16 ounces, right? So, get that on there. All right, we're just gonna go 350 degrees, big, Fahrenheit, until both layers of cheese are melted. You get that in there. Okay. So it's only been a few minutes, and then we're gonna have them um, looking like that. Look at how delicious. The thing about nachos is you can put whatever you want on it. So we don't wanna add all the extra stuff on here because we just use it all for garnish. So we're gonna go ahead and load this up. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and grab some chips, all right? Put them on a plate. I mean, this is what you need to do. It's so easy, right? We're gonna grab some pico, the gallo, right? Cause you gotta have some pico on there. All right, get that on there. And we're gonna grab some lettuce, all right? And anything you see I'm putting on you don't like, you ain't gotta use. You know, it's really that simple. Then I made some refried beans. I ain't gonna lie to right from a can. Refried beans. Look at how stringy that cheese is, right? Couple minutes on the beans. That's all it takes. Get that on there. It's all about building. Now we're gonna go with some peppers. Get those on there. It smells delicious. I know, right? I mean, this is so easy, man. Especially with, uh, I think Cinco de Mayo's coming up. All right, and then you know we're gonna go down with some sour cream. Now, if you want extra, put more on there. And then I'm gonna do a little hot sauce. You get that on there, or a lot. <laughs> And would you look at that right there. The easy nachos. That's what it's all about. I make them all the time, so I want to share that with y'all. Bon appetit. <laughs> oh my, my.